we see that Elijah came before the Lord with confidence. He knew that the Lord would do exactly what he had said, because what is the one thing he said on here? He said, I have done all these things at thy word. One of the things that I think helped him in moving in confidence and being able to say, I've done this at thy word is that he knew that he was moving according to the will of God and not his own fleshly desire. He wasn't doing anything according to what Elijah wanted, what Elijah's plan was, what Elijah's purposes were. He was doing everything according to what God had already previously spoken. And so I want you to ask yourselves today, are you, the plans you have for 2024, are they in alignment with what God has spoken to you? Or are they things that you have just written down that you want to do? And sometimes we can convince ourselves that what God is, what we are trying to do is what God has spoken. When in actuality, it's our own personal desires that we're trying to push off on God. And so I just want to challenge you to be careful that you're not taking your own plans and your own desires and trying to make them God's. But instead, you're taking what God is saying. And you're aligning your life with that and you're moving according to what God would have you to do in this season. We're not trying to do 2024 like we've ever done it before. We're not trying to do the same things in 2024 that we have consistently done over the past five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years. But we're seeking God for something new. We're seeking God for some growth in our lives. We're praying that God will do something different, that he will help us to grow, right? And so if you're expecting growth in 2024 and expecting change in 2024, then you have to make sure that you are aligning your prayers, aligning your desires with the will of God and with his word. 